Dough figurines are part of the childhood memories of many Taiwanese. Made with flour, glutinous rice, and food coloring, these figurines were once used as offerings at religious festivals. But with the passage of time and the changing of customs, dough figurines have all but disappeared from daily life. One of Taiwan's last dough figurine masters has dedicated herself to bringing a dying folk art to a wider audience. Using dough molding techniques, learned from her father, she creates exquisite one-motion animations that have colored national awards. Today in our Sunday special report, we see what this ancient art looks like with a modern twist. An old man on a bike travels the city to mend window screens, plying a trade on the brink of obsolescence. This stop-motion animation titled Where Am I Going won the 2018 Golden Horse Award for the Best Animated Short Film. Inside this 30-ping workshop, the drawers and cupboards are jam-packed with tools and stop-motion puppets, almost all of which were handmade by Huang Yunxuan. She needs together resin clay of different colors and sculpts it to a wire skeleton to build puppets for stop motion animation. Figurine creation is similar to the art of sculpting. Look at this color. If I just painted on a coat of color, I'd get a look and feel that's very different from the effect of dye kneaded right into the clay. Huang Yunxuan builds her puppets with resin clay, but she learned her techniques by watching her father work with dough. I made my figurines using cooked flour and glutinous rice. If you only use flour, the puppet would be too elastic, and they would move a bit or spring back after you pose them. Glutinous rice on its own is too sticky and hard to control. Huang Xingbing kneads and twists the dough. Then he presses a pair of eyeballs into two sockets. In less than a minute, he's made a goldfish. His dexterity runs in the family. All three of his children are good with their hands. Back in the day, they traveled the country selling figurines outside temples. As a child, Huang Yunxuan disliked the craft. Lots of artists, if they're the second or third generation of artists in the family, will have a love-hate relationship with their craft. It's because we're forced to learn it as children, and we don't learn it for our own amusement. We have to put the skill to work. That's especially the case with making dough figurines, which is more of a street performance. You have to interact with customers and put on a show. You have to make the figurines, and you can't be too slow. All this might be quite demanding for a kid. It was quite tough. Little did she know that the craft she despised as a girl would later become her vocation. In 2008, a comment from her brother inspired her to pick up the craft again. I was working at a gaming company. My brother told me that there were many people who could make touch pads and many others who could create art for games. He said that there weren't many people who could make this type of figurine. Then he said, why don't you give it a shot while you're still young? So I gave it a shot and I haven't been back to the office since. Huang Yunxuan left her job and started selling dough figurines at a stand, much to the worry of her father. He felt that there were precious few customers left for dough figurines, certainly not enough to support a comfortable living. When times were good, I made nearly 1 million NT a year, but then that went down to 250,000 NT a year. Imagine if your son told you then that he wanted to do what you do. What would you say? In the worst of times, I ate three 18 NT sandwiches a day. Sometimes I would buy a 50 NT bento box and divide that into two meals. I also soaked a sweet potato in water so that leaves would grow. Then I cut off the leaves to eat with instant noodles. After a while, Huang Yunxuan turned to a different approach. In 2010, she put together a stop-motion animation. 
combining her craft with audiovisual production concepts she had learned in school. The short won her top prize in a competition held by a sushi chain restaurant. There was a cash prize and it gave her not only financial relief, but also a major confidence boost. In 2016, she produced Bart, her first original animation. Bart explores children's issues in Taiwan through the story of an eight-year-old orphan in a fantasy world. But it was the title, Where Am I Going?, that earned her a Golden Horse Award and her father's validation. One day I told Huang Yunxuan, someday you should collect all your puppets and we can open up a children's museum. Visitors would come and see that the figurines cannot move, and they would wonder how it's possible they move in the film. Many people could come. It'd be fun. Huang Yunxuan hopes that her stop-motion animations can breathe new life into Taiwan's traditional arts sector. Sometimes the things we do can give courage to others. Sometimes you can set an example. For instance, this thing I'm doing, it seems that people have already abandoned this art. But by showcasing these figurines in films and by winning awards, I can give others a bit of encouragement. From humble beginnings, the Huang family's hand-molded figurines have made the leap to the silver screen. At the hands of Huang Yunxuan, a new world of possibilities is opening up for a dying art.